I'll be honest, Steven Universe was a show that I sorely overlooked for the longest time. What a mistake that was. And boy, was I glad to finally give it a go. Steven Universe is a show that premiered on the Cartoon Network all the way back in late 2013, but since then has collected a cult following, becoming one of the most popular and hyped up cartoons on air. And with good reason. Eventually, after much bugging and nagging, I did manage to watch through what Steven Universe had to offer, and I was thoroughly impressed. So today, we're going to be taking a big look at the show Steven Universe. The good, the bad, and everything in between. Let's talk about that. And as I mentioned, Steven Universe is a show that was released all the way back in late 2013, and has since then become massively popular, reaching rabid fans across the globe. Steven Universe, aptly named, follows a young boy named, you guessed it, Steven Universe, along with his magical rock-themed friends, known as the Crystal Gems, as they strive to protect the town of Beach City, and impart the world from their own kind. They, along with a colorful cast of side characters, go on massively wacky, fun-filled, and sometimes emotionally charged adventures to help save the world, or explore for themselves. Now, obviously, I arrived to the party a little late when it comes to Steven Universe, so by the time I actually began watching the show, it was already very popular and well-received, and as such, was very difficult for me to jump in with a completely fresh perspective. On the outside looking in, Steven Universe struck me as a very bright, bouncy, and quirky cartoon, clearly centered around the main character, Steven, and his crystal-themed friends. The art style was fun, yet relaxed, and was an absolute treat to look at. There is no doubt that the show was about following Steven as he grows and discovers who he is and what he's capable of. It certainly had a feel-good vibe that resonates out to you from the first moment you take a look at it. And look at it, you should. One of the many strengths of Steven Universe is the art and animation. The visuals are honestly one of the greatest strengths of this series, and never fail to keep your eyes glued to the screen. I honestly really loved the style of this show. One of the things that I really noticed was the use of color in each scene to convey and express the mood. It was warm and inviting when things were going well, solemn and gloomy when things got emotional, and dark and dismal when our heroes were in trouble. You didn't need to look at the characters to understand the emotions at play. The entire frame was used to convey the emotion in the atmosphere at hand. The environment felt connected to the characters, and it was a common and welcome theme throughout the series. As far as characters go, I found them very enjoyable to look at. They're drawn in very much a cartoony way, but not so much that they look wonky or off in any aspect. There's certainly no disconnect with the way the characters in Steven Universe are drawn versus the backgrounds and the settings that they inhabit, and the style absolutely remains constant and enjoyable throughout. And as far as animating these characters are concerned, the animation was, in my opinion, a very strong feature of this series. To put it simply, it was solid and consistent, and very rarely did the movements look off or out of place. In fact, this was especially apparent in the scenes where dancing or fighting was involved. And there was obviously a clear emphasis on clean movement for the characters in the animation, and it showed that the animators had a very, very strong sense of correct body movements throughout the entirety of the series. It's one of those things that you may not notice or appreciate right away, but it can certainly spoil you for other series you watch that don't have the level of attention and detail. However, there are some notable times where things such as character sizing has changed throughout the seasons, such as some characters becoming taller or shorter as time goes on, with no reasonable explanation, but for the most part these aren't things that are terribly noticeable unless you're really nitpicking and looking for them. Oh my goodness, the music. Now, I'll start this off by saying that I'm typically not big on music. It's just not one of the things that really draws me into shows. However, the music in Steven Universe absolutely blew me away. It's honestly incredible. I think a lot of shows and movies tend to really ignore or neglect the time and energy into putting good music and sound effects into the works that they create. It's a shame too, as music and sound are literally 
literally half of the experience. Imagine Star Wars without the orchestral accompaniment. The movies would be noticeably duller and less exciting. Steven Universe absolutely understands that good music is of utmost importance. Just like with background, lighting, and coloring, they utilize music to their utmost advantage to help set and portray the emotion and feeling in a scene. Background music and otherwise regular segments is always toe-tapping and extremely enjoyable to listen to. And the songs themselves that are created are literal hits in their own right. The music in Steven Universe was absolutely one of its top strengths, maybe even its defining feature, and I thoroughly recommend listening to some of the soundtracks that this show produces. Now every successful show tends to follow interesting and unique characters that draw us in and we want to root for, and Steven Universe is no exception. Steven, the main character, is for lack of better words, absolutely adorable. He's young, he's this half alien, half human, just trying to figure out who he is and what he's capable of, and where he belongs. And he's got this super positive and optimistic outlook on life in general that is absolutely infectious. It just seems that no matter where he goes or who he interacts with, he just makes the world and those around him much better. And I absolutely love this character. Despite his age, Steven has this optimistic wisdom that's perhaps a little beyond his years and just comes across as a genuinely nice and kind character, albeit a bit naive, but it's just so refreshing to have a character like this. He personally reminded me strongly of Aang from The Last Airbender, which is always a positive. Kid characters can sometimes be hard to write for. As we get older, we tend to become disconnected with how we were at a younger age, and as such, makes writing for younger characters an added challenge. Steven, in my opinion, was written exceptionally well, and was a joy to follow along with on his adventures. Of course, Steven isn't alone, and oftentimes tags along with a ragtag group called the Crystal Gems. As far as the main cast is concerned, you've got Amethyst, Pearl, and Garnet. These three are... Aliens from Outer Space! Who, in a strange way, act as Steven's adoptive parents slash family. Honestly, I really enjoyed this unique family dynamic that was created here. Pearl and Garnet act like the parental figures to Steven, Pearl being the high-strung strict parent, Garnet more laid back, while Amethyst plays the obnoxious and outgoing older sibling role. It was honestly endearing watching how these seemingly polar opposite characters bounced off each other so well. I loved how despite having very different personalities, they all shared a common bond of protecting Steven, and you know, the rest of the world. And it was a treat watching them grow along with Steven. They aren't a perfect family by any means, but they try really hard to make things work, and it's honestly admirable to watch. And of course, the show has a large cast of side characters that pop up all the time, and even garner their own episodes. I have to say, I really enjoyed pretty much all of the side characters. They all have interesting and quirky stories and personalities, and it was fantastic and enjoyable watching Steven meet and interact with them. Except for Onion. Nobody likes Onion. <laughs> Creepy. So whether you've picked up on it or not, I've really been praising Steven Universe so far in this review. And with good reason, it's a great show. However, one of the things that kind of bothered me at times was how emotional a lot of the characters were. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a heavily emotional show, and there was certainly an expectation of this going in. But it was almost frustrating at times, watching characters get overly emotional over otherwise small things, or letting their emotions get in the way of doing what's right or saving the day. And don't get me wrong, if anything, I thought Steven Universe was excellent in handling some of the heavy talks. It's a show that really lets its characters express their emotions, and really hides away what they're thinking, and this was something I enjoyed. As the audience, there was no difficulty understanding what was going through each character's head when they had the spotlight, and in turn, it allowed for easier connections with said characters. However, it was sometimes frustrating when these emotions really got in the character's way, perhaps more than what would be expected in real life. If you followed the show, perhaps you can agree with this, so let me know. 
But now I want to hear from you. Have you seen Steven Universe? If so, who is your favorite character? And what did you like about the show? Let me know in the comment section below. I always love hearing what you have to say. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like. As well, don't forget to subscribe. It helps support me for free, and it only takes a click. You can also find me outside of the show on Facebook and DeviantArt. I even have a Twitter too. Find me on those for up-to-date tab on the shenanigans I get up to. But once again, thank you so much for watching. This is Ty and Dega signing out.